I wanted the intro to scream, hey, remember 2015, where we would make the drum sound like psh, 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 psh. I wanted the intro to scream that. I wanted to produce a song that very specifically catered to people who are born in the early 2000s and grew up on CCM and gospel. And some of the 90s kids as well. I was born in 91. But one of the coolest things ever is when a 20 something comes up to me and they say, I used to listen to your music in high school. So, sorry, I, I stopped listening to it, but what are you up to now? Because not a lot of us listen to the same music we did in high school and college. We might go back and listen to it for fun, for nostalgia. It might connect with us in a different way now that we're older. But there's something special about that music. And I am I'm honored that I get to be able to be a part of a lot of people saying like, oh no, that was like the music I chose in high school. Like that was my vibe when I was 12 and really produce something that had that intentional Jamie Gray sound, if you will, but just also that overall early 2000, 2010-ish Christian music, gospel music, because I really, really, really like that style. In my music, I tend to write a lot of like imagery driven stuff. I talk about skies and seas and mountains and all that kind of stuff all the time. So it just felt right to put like actual bird songs all throughout um, the song. There's layered of different synth sounds, banjo and acoustic doing the do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Uh, that was a uh, perfect pitch. I wanted to make sure that it had um, as many instruments as I could think of. <laughs> There's only like four, so I'm, I'm exaggerating. But I wanted it to have that same pattern layered with a couple of different sounds. There's this like pulsating, pretty heavy like tremolo organ that I have behind a lot of my songs. I like it to have a pad, but I also, it, for me feels production wise, a great way to fill that space. And also emotionally, it feels nice to have something that makes me think of a Hammond um, behind my music because that feels pretty foundational in many ways. I thought about doing a breakdown chorus at the end of this song. There actually, uh, there is not one. There's a halftime instrumental that leads it out, but I ended up doing the kind of breakdown in the first chorus instead because just a lot of my songs tend to um, kind of start off softer or more gentle and then pick up in the hook. And I just wanted to do something kind of intentionally different with this one um, and kind of slow it down in the hook instead and just do like some sustained notes on the keyboard. There's a few extra like brass moments um, that are just kind of scattered throughout. That particularly like <laughs> the first time that I really got to hear um, like brass the way I really wanted to hear it on one of my songs was in the happy song. Um, my friend Dibs produced that one and it's, yeah, that's, there's some magic happening in that song <laughs> that, um, reminded me how much I love like the saxophone and trumpet and everything. And, um, I grew up listening to a lot of smooth jazz by way of my dad loving smooth jazz. And so it was nice to have that on that song and then quite a bit more on this record as well. The do 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 do's. I mean, what would a Jamie Grace album be? without some do to do's and some whoa, whoa, la, la, la's. So <laughs> there's a lot of random background vocal stuff, the oh, in the tag and stuff like that. I just do the classic, record it, and put the song on loop three times and just sing until I feel like I've broken the song. Then I just go and edit and I get the, the, the two loops that I actually liked from that or the, <laughs> the five or seven on a good day and I, copy and paste them throughout just to see where they belong. And I'm glad that I did that because there's a lot of fun background stuff in here. It's one of the key things for me when it comes to producing an upbeat song like this is that people actually hear me and hear my personality through it. I didn't want people to hear this and then meet me in person and think, wow, you're not dignified like your music. <laughs> I want my awkwardness and the confidence in that awkwardness to shine through what I write and what I sing and what I produce because I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of who God made me to be. And I want people to hear that in the art that I create. Uh, I've, I toured quite a bit <laughs> in my years, and one of the places I've, I've played quite a bit is Washington State um, on the West Coast, and I, I was doing a whole West Coast run, because especially for those of us that live in the South or live on the East Coast, like the West Coast is a big deal, right? 
So during this West Coast run and literally I, I, I experienced some rain and some storms and then uh, more on the metaphorical side or fi figurative side, I was just going through some things in my life and I didn't want my brain to think Washington, ugh, the place where um, I've had a challenging time or the place where it rains all the time. You know, it's like one of the main things you hear about Seattle is it's always raining. And I, I, rain is great by the way, but I, <laughs> thanks God, flowers and such and food. Um, but I didn't want to have this negative, if you will, perception over a place, um, or a person or anything. I wanted to not harbor any of that pain longer than I needed to. So um, I wanted to write a song that expressed what it's like to go somewhere that used to make you sad. Or um, if you had, like I, I've talked about this at great length on my old podcast back in the day, uh, the Jamie Gray's podcast about friendship breakups or um, you know romantic breakups. Like you want to be able to, if that person pops up in your head, you don't want to feel grieved and devastated and like you can't go on um, because a memory has popped back up in your mind, you know? Um, so I wrote the song about choosing to be free, choosing to forgive, choosing to accept the past and, and, and consider what a, a, a path forward might look like. Thank you guys so much for streaming Washington. It's the first single off of my new record dreamers it came out on june 2nd the single washington and then my next single keep going comes out june 30th so make sure you pre-save it dreamers drops this fall but for now worry about washington worry about keep going and if you are hearing any of this and you're absolutely loving it and you just want to know how you can get more details or support this journey along the way please check out my patreon patreon.com slash jamie grace i'm an independent artist and so a lot of the way that i'm able to make this happen these videos and these songs is because of the people who support me monthly so thank you to those on patreon and thank you for considering joining the family just check out the uh, link down below please subscribe stream washington i will talk to you guys later Okay, bye.